Cheers! Welcome, Welcome to Movie, Movie Bitches. Bitches! RuPaul's Drag Race, Season 5, Episode 5. <laughs> the Snatch Game! Yes! Wow. 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 First things first, shout out to our Patreon supporters. $5 a month gets you ad-free early access. $10 gets you access to our viewing parties. Also, make sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. I'm trying to make it happen slowly but surely. So yes, all the girls walk in and they are shooketh because two people have gone home yeah. and RuPaul is not playing. After the double elimination, every girl knows Ru is not playing the radio. The, the radio. radio. <laughs> and there's a mini challenge, uh, style the Snuggie. I thought this was a fun version of yeah. this mini challenge, you know, mm -hmm. like a photo shoot, whatever. And it's so- It's arbitrary. They picked the wrong winners, but that's fine. Well, that guy did. I don't remember who he was or why he I mattered, I think he but... must have been from Klein Epstein Parker because they had that whole bit. From Us Weekly Magazine, please welcome senior editor, Ian Drew. About. Oh, oh that, did you steal my suit? suit? Who wore it better? As, uh, but they weren't even the same suit? Uh, Rue, is that a Klein, Epstein & Parker suit that you're wearing? Why, yes, it is. Well, you know, whatever. Because they're, they're all custom. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Well, I think in this case, Rue wore it best. Yeah, so they each get, there's three different types of Snuggie. Color, color, patterned. whatever, yeah, patterns. It was the perfect mini challenge. Like it's just, yes. it's stupid, it's fun. They run around, they put on quick drag, they look a mess. Yep, it was completely inconsequential. Oh, absolutely. Uh, some highlights. Highlight. Um, Alaska in her lion. What the? That is the best her makeup has looked all season. <laughs> I think it's the best makeup she's worn all season. <laughs> Everything, something about it with the mouth open, just everything she did was making me laugh. Yeah. It was good body uh, humor. Yes, yes, very um, Mayim and Clown-like. Yes, Jinx. Jinx. Uh, puts together a Rachel Zoe Olsen twin. Yeah. Mm, oh, it's so cold in here. Oh. The missing Olsen twin. Uh-huh. She just woke up. This way, Jinx. Oh, my. Those were the two I really remembered. I mean, Lanesha like, made a full gown. Oh, yeah. Like, it was strapless. It had, like, boning yeah. somehow, and I was but like... But she didn't win? She did not win. Roxy, who threw a corset on top of it, won. Right. Confused. Confused. Um, and then, but Alyssa also made sort of this drapey, oh, yeah. very eleganza sort of... I oh, thought it was really good. It Alyssa's. was good. Yeah. yeah. Um, and Detox won. She had, like, a neon whatever a accessorizing. A vibe. Yay. Yeah, which was fun, but I actually kind of liked Coco's better. So whatever. It didn't matter. It they didn't won a Us Weekly swag bag. Was that That's what it was? right. It was an Us Weekly swag uh, bag, and they, I was like, they didn't even have a little video package to no. show you the swag bag. It was just like you've each won an Us Weekly swag bag. Now, we, for all we know, it was just a copy of Us Weekly. <laughs> a few of them. Yeah, they it was a month's worth they had of to Us deliver Weekly. Them. <laughs> I don't even know. Mess. <laughs> You're a hot mess. Anyway, they win. It means nothing. And Rue announces that this week's maxi challenge is the Snatch Game. And both of us obviously remember Little Edie and we're of like, course. oh my God, can't yeah. wait. Yeah. So excited. And I was, but I was really struggling to recall. I haven't seen the season in quite a bit of time. 10 minutes for me. How everyone else did and who everyone else did. Right. And then it started to come back to me. It's not good. It's not good. And I'm really disappointed by it. And it was not good. It was not good. I mean, we'll get there. But, but like, woo. Jinx was so good. Yes. And this was the first that I can recall. Like, I remember when this aired and being like, she broke the mold for, I'm doing sort of an obscure, a weird character that right. maybe you haven't heard of, but I made it funny even if, I mean, I, I had heard of it. Of course. What's a little Edie? Little Edie is a star of a movie, Grey Gardens. And so this was the first of that. So I remember it being such a benchmark. And yeah. it still is, and it's yeah. great. But like, that's the only thing to talk about, basically. Rough, but true. <laughs> oh my, okay. <laughs> right, like Chad was really great as Cher, but like obviously- it's Cher. Yeah. And I'm trying to remember of other previous seasons. There was nobody that I can think of where it was like, oh, they held court and just took this, I mean, I guess Sharon as Michelle, Michelle. but still, again, it's Michelle. It's right, not... like everyone has a reference and she was making jokes about things that had happened in the show. 
So, I hate it. Green, I hate it. Hello, Madame Laqueer. <laughs> <laughs> I told her not to wear green. I hate it. That's like doing Lady Bunny. Yeah. More obvious than Lady Bunny, actually, because right. like we all know, like not everyone knows Lady Bunny and how she talks or acts or whatever, whereas everyone's seen Michelle on the seasons. What is Lady Bunny's real waist size? She's a 28. <laughs> you mean her thigh is a 28. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, yes, yeah, so everyone's getting ready. They're all picking their characters. Nobody knows who Little Edie is. No. Uh, which was shocking to me. I remember, I don't think I really knew who Lady, Little Edie was mm. at the time. Fair enough. That doesn't I mean, surprise me. Fair enough. But, <laughs> but Jinx made it work of and she made you appreciate this person yes. that maybe and then maybe you wanted to go look it up go and, watch and the movie go watch great gardens and watch documentary now and then you know go through the whole imdb of the mazel brothers because oh they're the ones that did great gardens mm. yeah i feel like i just read something about a great gardens reboot or something well they made the hbo drew barrymore jessica lane Yes. Like, that was years, years ago. ago. And that was... That's a musical, right? No. Okay, great. <laughs> so, yes, if you have not seen Grey Gardens... Oh. Oh, please yeah. do go watch well, Grey Gardens. Well, and that's the thing, not to cut you off, sorry. No. Go watch it. Go watch Grey Gardens. But it, it was it's probably obvi- on the Criterion Collection. And we're not know. sponsored by them, but I surely Maybe would... Maybe we should be. I surely would accept that sponsorship because the Criterion Collection is killing it. Yeah. The app is A+. plus. Okay, great. I'll see what I can do. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna do Little Edie from Grey Gardens. Who, what? Little Edie from Grey Gardens. Grey Gardens? Mm-hmm. Who is that? Who is it? But yes, I mean, for anyone who has seen it, you kind of know, like, she's such a character, yes. Little Edie. Yes. And so it's so easy to, like, like when she says it, you're like, well, yeah, that's gonna be great. Well, when she tries to explain it to them. So Jackie O has this cousin and this aunt who went bankrupt and became shut-ins, living in a big dilapidated mansion. Wow. Well, she was the cousin of Jackie O and they went bankrupt and they lived in the Hamptons. And the I mean, that's blah, blah. the story. Little Edie had alopecia and lost all her hair out of the stress. And then she became a big fashion icon years after she died. Yes. But, like, yes. But, well, she's this really wacky character who lived in a dilapidated and mansion And she had in alopecia, Hamptons. and she... Oh, oh it really is the outfit for the day. The outfit of the day. She started that. Yes. Oh, my God. Is that true? I mean, I guess so. And you can always take off the skirt and use it as a cape. So I think this is the best costume for the day. Okay. I have to think these things up. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I just pinned it. Yeah. Great. Great. Mother wanted me to come out in a kimono, so we had quite a fight. And this really great drag queens drinking out of straws moment where Alyssa has, this, what like, is this? The long, it's like those cigarette, you know, like Cruella de Vil uh, cigarette holder, mm. but like it's a straw. It was so good. I was really into it. I was thinking for some reason this mm-hmm. time, do we think that Shelley Duvall would be a good Snatch Game character? Hello, I'm Shelley Duvall. Hello, I'm Shelley Duvall. Hello, I'm Shelley Duvall. Hello, I'm Shelley Duvall. Hello. I'm Shelley Duvall. But all you said was, hi, Hello. I'm Shelley Duvall. Hello, I'm Shelley. Hello, and every time you're in a different outfit? Yeah. Hello, I'm Shelley Duvall. Hello, I'm Shelley Duvall. Hello, I'm Shelley Duvall. Hello. How, how would you I'm do Shelley that, I'm Shelley Duvall. I don't know, I feel like it'd be. So much. I don't know, but I'm kind of, I love that. There's something about it that I'm like, yes. Yes. Hello, I'm Shelley Duvall. Hello, I'm Shelley Duvall. Hello. I'm Shelley Duvall. But I always also go too niche. Well, right. Like, I'm always like, oh, if you didn't, then you didn't, and oh, no. And then they'd just be like, oh, no, why did she, all she did was say hello. I'm she- I can see the edit. I'm Shelley Duvall. Hello. I'm Shelley Duvall. Hello. I'm Shelley Duvall. Hello. I'm Shelley Duvall. Hello. I'm Shelley Duvall. I am one that if the joke repeating itself to the point of being annoying and then becoming even funnier again. Yeah. Uh, that, I really do enjoy that. You love that. It's so good. You look like you've had a bad day. <laughs> Tell me about it. Well, you came in here looking like crap, and you haven't said very much. You didn't say that again. Well, you came in here looking like crap, and you haven't said very much. Hey, tell me about it. Well, you came in here looking like crap, and you haven't said very much. Yeah, you say that again. Well, you came in here looking like crap, and you haven't said very much. Hey, tell me about it. Well, you came in here looking like crap, and you haven't said very much. Yeah, you say that again. Well. You came in here looking like crap, and you haven't said very much. Hey, tell me about it. Well, 
You came in here looking like crap, and you haven't said very much. Yeah, you can say that again. Well, you came in here looking like crap, and you haven't said very much. Hey, tell me about it. Well, you came in here looking like crap. Okay, we get the point. There's something about like holding court and having that much confidence to yes. keep going yes. with it. It's yes. the same thing with like Andy Kaufman, like that humor where it's, it feels a little dangerous because you don't know how yeah, far they're going to take it, yeah, you know, yeah. and you're like, oh, oh, I'm fucking pissed off at you. Okay, it's funny again. <laughs> Hello, I'm Shelley Duvall. 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 Duvall. <laughs> I'm on board. Sister Sally's snatch is so, so? snatched <laughs> that she blanked her snatch snatch. And it's just like, hello, oh, I'm, I'm Shelly Duvall. Duvall. Hello, I'm Shelly Duvall. Or yeah. you could, to make it more palatable for Rue, okay. you could just start every response with, hello, hello I'm, I'm Shelly Duvall. Duvall. And then I, I wrote, wrote, yeah. <laughs> anus. <laughs> I just wrote anus. Well, Julie, I just wrote anus. <laughs> so, quick commercial break, and we're back with more Shelly Duvall. Hello, I'm Shelly Duvall. <laughs> Hello, I'm Shelly Duvall. <laughs> Hello, I'm Shelly Duvall. Hello, it's, 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 she's so like invited. Right, right. Hello, Hello I'm, I'm Shelly, Shelly Duvall. Duvall. Hello, I'm Shelly Duvall. Anyway, uh, yes, we're at the Snatch Game, and our guest judges are. Julie Brown and, and downtown, downtown Julie, Julie Brown. Brown. Now, whoever set this up. I love it. Yeah. Brava, bravo. Yep. Downtown Julie Brown, famously uh, MTV VJ. Yeah. And Julie Brown. Mm hmm You don't know, do you? No. Miss Stoger. <gasps> Miss Stoger, that machine is just a lawsuit waiting to happen. Thanks for the legal advice. Oh my God. Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. You get involved with the guy, things go wrong. Next thing you know, you end up dead at the bottom of a motel swimming pool. Every time. Look, you gotta lose this guy, all right? A bad clown could really fuck you up. Okay, cool. So yes, yeah, Julie Brown from Clueless, from Earth Girls Are Easy. Oh. She was a, uh, one of the co-writers of Earth Girls Are oh. Easy. She was one of the main writers for the Clueless TV show. Oh, fun. She had her own show on MTV. Just say Julie, only on MTV, so don't touch that dial. If you turn the channel, I will hunt you down and kill you like the dog you are. Last time I had battled two browsers in my dressing room. No, the last time I had a battle of the Browns was about 10 minutes ago in my dressing room. <laughs> I love that Michelle was fine with that joke, but not with... Oh. I, I'm sorry, it's just never gonna... St this channel will always be justice for Rock'em Sakura. I will never let it go. Oh, my dazzling 23 skidoo do A high kick to a farce I can send a grown man back home to his mama. Never. No. I will die on this cross. Yes. Unless they bring her back for, um, for like, <laughs> yes. All-Stars and she Redemption. Does, and she does more fart humor. Yes, I hope she does. Onto Michelle's face. Double down. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> I'm still mad about it. <laughs> I can't get it. So, yes, first... Up, Jinx seat. Monsoon in the hot seat as little Edie. Oh, mother darling. She's always begging for the pate, but the label is faded. I can never tell if it's pate or if it's giblets for the cats. <laughs> the magnifying. She All uses the... that magnifying glass so often, but well. Yes, yes. It was reminding me of Top Secret. <laughs> I'll put the clip here, but Great. it was. <clears throat> <laughs> anyway, yes, all, she had all the props, uh, everything, you know, looked right. She had the mm -hmm. accent down. Just and the references. So funny. You know, like the there references. was a script that was Picking not, up. Feel, it didn't feel scripted. No, it wasn't like quote, 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 you know, of the same. Like right. she wasn't literally quoting her. No. Although there were things in there, but it yeah. was it just, uh, there was a playfulness. Yeah, yeah. And Jinx said, this is what I came to do. Yes. And boy, did she. You could have gotten Leslie Carew, yes. Audrey Hepburn, any Achoo. one of them. Instead, you got ketchup. Oh, boy. And the next to her was uh, Jay Jolie as Taylor Swift, who she does as an now, impersonation. Now, yeah. she, well, I mean, or like I guess a, then, but on stage. Didn't she, didn't they like, weren't they on stage together at some point? Yes, they were, like, she, well, she was confused for, as sure, Taylor Swift something. or something. That's a fun 
movie idea, right? Yes. A famous pop star hires drag queen yep. to be her double when she's overwhelmed Love that. or has to hide away or have the press follow the, you know, and but they're they're really like bestie best friends. Yeah, I love and that. And then like that's fun. Yeah. I'd watch that. I would absolutely watch that. And it's that. a bit of a road trip. Like, they're yeah. on a tour. Yes. You know. Right, uh, right. Oh, God, I just can't. Can I just stay bus. in the hotel? And another, another club. club. Another yeah. club. Bus. Club. Another club. Another club. Another club. Plane. Next place. But I, I would absolutely watch that movie. Yeah. Wouldn't that be so fun? Yeah, I'm fully on board. 100%. Yeah. I'll add it to our ideas list that then the internet will steal and someone else will make it. And that's probably okay, although they won't do it as well. But anyway, yes, yes. would would fully watch. Would fully I was watch. thinking there's there were so many pop stars mm, in this yeah. Snatch game, which I think is generally, generally, generally a bad idea. But it's interesting watching it back now because so many of those pop stars have so many different eras and yes. styles and yeah. whatever. So it's like, oh, this was a little time capsule of Katy Perry then. Yes. And she's evolved so Absolutely. much and changed so much. Yeah. And this was Taylor Swift. Then. then and she's so, also evolved so much and changed. So it was well. just it was just kind of like you know, not like the completely different, but it was like, oh, which era of Gaga are you doing? Right. That kind of thing. Madonna. <laughs> oh my god, Madonna. Wow. Which Madonna are you doing which now? Which Madonna? That's, that's which... really And then and Julie Brown was famous famously did Madonna too. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, parodied mm. her parodied her a bunch. Neurotica. Look I'm nude. Anyway, it, there was just so many pop stars that I went, oh, that's funny that that was like that era of yeah. so-and-so. Yeah. Have you ever kissed a girl? Oh, well, never. But, uh, yeah. Have you ever fucked a black guy? <laughs> um, but anyway, yes, Jade Jolie as Taylor Swift, uh, she smiled. I honestly, I, I like in any other, well, not any other, but in almost any other season Snatch Game, this would have been on the bottom. I think she wasn't in the bottom because they wanted to put her into the Silver Lounge with Alyssa and Coco. <laughs> sure. All right. Oh, I see where this is going. Just putting it out there. Well, I mean, sure. Although Ivy's was not great. <laughs> no, and... I mean, there was they were spoiled for choice. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, next down the line, yes. Alaska, Alaska as Lady Bunny. And um, unfortunately, they cut all of her jokes because they were too filthy. Um, Apparently. We found this out later after the fact. Yeah. I said fucking relax, asshole. Yeah. I'm thinking of relaxed assholes. Dear Sam. So she basically says two things, one of which is anus. <laughs> well, Julie, I just wrote anus. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, it's great and filthy, apparently. Yeah, which should be for, for Lady Bunny. Bunny, can I smell your pussy? And I said, certainly not. And he said, oh. Well, it must be your feet. <laughs> Maybe now if it was on VH1 or Paramount Plus? Right. I don't know. I do wish that they would go back and re-edit old Snatch games and Ooh. give us new content. Yeah. Just give us a full, the full Snatch game. Not the full, <laughs> because it's probably bad. I don't want the full Snatch. It's a little song that put the cunt back in country. My pussycat was playing out on the back. We don't care who wins now, so right. let's re-edit this so everyone get, looks the best they can. There you go. I like that. Okay, sure, sure, Something. sure. Right, let's take the narrative out of the editing. Exactly. And, and really just focus on the uh -huh. comedy of yeah. it all, which they should be doing anyway, in my opinion. Anyway, but, yeah. yeah. But, you know. Yeah, I like that. Right, and then next to her was Detox as Kesha, and this was awful. I'm sorry. This was almost Snooky Wanna Smush Smush. The level of unprofessionalism, far too much. Almost. Almost. It was the more, level of unprofessionalism. It was more, not as much. It was but, more singular. She didn't affect as many people around her. Sure. But I mean, she got up off of stage and pissed on stage. I'm gonna go ahead and pee over here by Tamar. She's gonna go pee yeah. in the corner. Well, Strange. I don't want to defame my friend. Oh right. <laughs> I don't want to like slander her too much. Well, that could be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> 
Kesha. I mean, maybe that was what she then decided to do after Rue told her. I think she decided she needed to take do the piss out of her. Something, not like, literally. Not literally. <laughs> I think she needs. She was like, I got to do something. Yeah. Unfortunately, it was, it was, it was rough. Um, uncomfortable. Well, I mean, I will say I Rue mean, also I'm... broke this rule of improv. Hey, Katy Perry. Is that your fragrance? It is. Would you like to try some? No. Okay. To oh. Katy Perry, he just goes, no. Oh, they'd love it. No, no, I, I, I couldn't possibly. Do it. No. <laughs> wow. I said no. Okay. Okay. We'll just shut this down. Thanks so much. But the problem with Kesha, or at least the Kesha that Detox this, chose this to do, this era of Kesha, was that it was negative Nancy. It was, it was everything was like, no, I don't care. I'm apathetic. Mm. You know, which is essentially a no in right. the yeah, improv yeah, yeah, yeah. world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever you're just like, then. That means they can't go further. Right. I don't so, really know how you do Kesha. Not not for Snatch Game. Right. Like I don't know what the funny bits what, are, what especially now. But like you know, what the, I don't know what the funny is. So. No. But anyway. But next, Coco Montrese as Janet Jackson. Also a bad choice. A bad choice. Janet Jackson. Hi, Ru. How are you? What have you done for me lately? I haven't put out a hit in a while. Next. Bad choice. Do Latoya. Yes. Who wants to make fun of Janet Jackson? Yeah. No. Particularly after the Super Bowl. <laughs> no, ma'am. This was after that. She has had enough. Yes. Okay. I, I can't remember. That was ages ago. No, I know, but I yeah, can't yeah, yeah. remember exactly well, timeline wise. Right. Fair. But no, that was, yeah, that was, that was, this was after that. Now, if the angle was she was constantly just ripping Justin Timberlake to shreds. Love that. Shred. Or also if she constantly had her tit popping out, but Nip. also maybe don't joke about Slip. it. Yeah. <laughs> don't joke about that. Don't joke about that. I don't know. Is it? Is it? <laughs> Nip, slip. Is it? I don't know. Is Do you it? still talk to Benicia? It would have been okay, because she does a quick change. It's the only thing she does. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness! Oh my God, so thin. That's impressive. Instead of saying, oh, I'm so thin. Thin. I was like, okay. Um, if she had said, oh, wardrobe malfunction. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you know. It's... And obviously Coco did her because she does her six days a week. Right. And is a great, like, it's a great look. I was yeah. like, yes, bitch, fierce. But that's not the point of Snatch Game. Yeah. At this point, it was still, I think, People knew you had to prepare something, but it was still in that vein of, I'll do the pop star that I impersonate right. on stage. It's like, oh no, but it's not just a... Like a You're not just lip syncing to their song. Yeah. Your improv skills, your wit, and your impersonation skills. It's a different beast. It's a different beast. Without these three things, a drag queen might as well not call herself a drag queen. Next up, Alyssa as Katy Perry, yeah. as blue hair Katy Perry. Sure. Right. Do you want to try my fragrance? No! no. Okay. Would you like to try some? No. Okay. She was totally fine and was there. I mean, not even fine. Like, she was there. I don't right. even know what happened. I, you know? She didn't really say, oh, Oh, Rue. did you kiss a girl? Right. No, no Rue. Rue, never. Like, come on. What? It's the most popular lyric No, we lyric scissored. <laughs> like, do something. something. I, like, literally, yes, I liked it, and then we scissored. Anything. You could just... <laughs> First of all, the answer should not be no as Rue, oh my god, I spilled all over myself. Oh no, you got so excited. <laughs> Scissor me timbers. Scissor me timbers. The very least you could do is say yes, and I liked it. Like bare minimum, yep. that's the response if you have nothing else to say. Right. Would you like to try some? No. Okay. But to just be like, no. No, Rue, babe. I would never. Ah! But you literally did in your song, what? <laughs> Like, what are we doing? It's crazy. And if it was like now Katy Perry, mm -hmm. you know, what would you do? Because that'd be fun. You could talk about Orlando Bloom's big old horse dong. <laughs> Look at this. The reason she walked in the room with a horse face was because she is a horse. What? <laughs> Didn't you see? There was that whole thing. <laughs> there was that whole thing. <laughs> Him stand up paddling naked in Hawaii. Oh, that's and right. Everyone was like, boy, 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 boy. <laughs> right? <laughs> Wasn't that a thing? I think so. Are they together? Yes. Yeah, I well, think they're still together. Hence the dong. They were. <laughs> they were together. 
together at some point Great. in time. Okay, yeah. They may still be together. They have a kid. Great. I believe. Wow. Wow. Anyway, next up, Ivy Winters as Marilyn Monroe. Like honestly, I um. Wow. She's sort of had the look. Hello, Rue. Now, is it true that gentlemen prefer blondes? Oh, they do. You know it. Fabulous. Are you mostly I mean, sure. You know, like, it was close enough. It was. I mean, she had the out. Like, yeah, gen the yeah, gentlemen the, prefer blondes outfit. Yeah. The makeup was good, but the voice wasn't there. The personality wasn't there. It's just. It's a terrible choice. It was a it's bad a choice. Terrible anyway. choice. Um, well, because like Julie Brown says, like you can't do someone that's been done to death. I mean. Whew. Sorry, rest in peace. But like, um, it was too soon. <laughs> Don't joke about that. But it's just a bad choice because it's hard to do anything original. Yeah, 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 yeah. And if it's not original, then it's like, yep, yeah, we've, we've. Well, seen she's that. such. She has become caricatured so much. Right. So it's like her real personality. It'd be like doing Elvis. You know, it's sure. like how? What's the authentic version of that? I don't even know anymore. But I don't I don't even think that Snatch Game has to be an authentic version. I think as we've seen, oftentimes oh, it no. becomes funnier if it's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to have a point of view. The ways that you could take Marilyn mm. doesn't Again, a tragic figure. Right. Right. So it's hard because yeah. you're like, ooh, you know, do I wanna poke at that? Right. It's sort of sad and icky. And can't we just embrace her fabulous works of art and just, you know, yeah. lift her up. Yeah. Have we talked about how it would be super fun to do Lauren Bacall on Snatch Game? Because I feel like that would be great. Yeah, you can make some whistle jokes, you know. Sure, yeah. You know how to whistle, don't you, Steve? You just put your lips together and blow. Let's talk about Humphrey Bogart's big old horse dick. <laughs> I don't know. I allegedly, I have no idea. Allegedly. But also, I love that one of the answers could be, it's you know, decaffeinated. It's decaffeinated, not on its high point. <laughs> oh, I think you'll really go for it. I think you'll really go for it. <laughs> go for it. Mm. 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 Maybe that's what you do. Just one of them. Mm. Mm. Again, so niche. I love that people put, um, they commented that we had to put a not safe for work rating on that mashup because it really does sound like porn because it's just sort of mm. going, mm, mm. that or like a farm, but you know. Anyway, rich, deep, brewed flavor. Um, I love that. Yeah, that would be great. Wouldn't yeah. that be fun? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Um, yes, RuPaul lobs the Kennedys right down that bowling alley strike zone. I don't know. I've mixed sports metaphors. And yep. she's like, what? Quite the scandal, actually. Yes. With my cousin-in-law, really. Yes. It was in all the magazines at the time. <laughs> and Jinx just huh? swoops right in. Oh, it was quite the scandal. It was quite the scandal on all the magazines. Mm. My cousin, yes. <laughs> I mean, come on. Come on. That's what, again, it's just like, okay, you, you don't know the song lyrics to her most popular song. You don't know right, right, right. the like most popular thing of Marilyn Monroe that everyone knows. Well, the most famous scandalous thing about her, let's say, or whatever, okay, you know. I mean, between the dress on the air grate yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. happy birthday, Mr. President, I think those are the two most like, I, you know, well-known things yeah. of Marilyn Monroe. If you did her now, you could be embittered that Kim Kardashian wore your dress and ruined oh, it. Oh, sure. Anyway, um, it wasn't good, but Jinx was the only one that was sort of playing Off that of, cross yes, where you yeah. like build on things. Well, and you, I mean, but, and then she goes, Who's a little Edie? <laughs> okay, well, she's not that little. Who the hell is little Edie? I don't even know what that is. Well, she's not little. It was like. Yeah. Oh, it was bad. Okay. She was clearly just bitter that she was not doing well. Yeah. And that uh, Jinx was starting to come for the rest of them. Right? RuPaul, why couldn't you get anyone famous? Any real celebrities? I don't know who any of these people are. You could have gotten Leslie Caron or uh, Audrey, Audrey Hepburn. Hepburn. No. D neither of them for Snatch Game. Well, Leslie Caron, I mean, I don't know what you would do other than dance and look cute. You know what I mean? Like, right, she, right, she, right, she, right. Don't get love her, but like, there isn't a big. Like, what's her personality? I don't know, you right, know? Right, Let's talk just... about Gene Kelly's big old horse <laughs> dick! No. <laughs> Look at this! Anyway, 
Okay, yeah. who's next? I'm very fine here. My English is not very good looking. Oh no, Lanesha Sparks is Celia Cruz. Right. Um, oh. I mean, do we think this is a step above Michelle Obama at least? Yes. I don't know. Maybe. I. She, may, she might have had more confidence if she had looked the part. Because I feel like Lanesha is very much about the look. Yes. Because I, I think I can look like her. And... It's more than just looking like the person. What was odd to me was that she didn't read any of her answers. A can of tomato salsa. Like a big can? Yeah. I don't think she understood this the assignment. No, I don't and, think so. And you know, that's is what it is. Yeah. But like, um, I don't think she knew what was going on. Sure. Mm, flat. But next is Roxy Andrews as Tamar Braxton. Yeah. Dot net. And dot net. Boom. Louboutins, cause our fat ass feet don't fit in them. Oh. Yeah. Get your life. <laughs> She had so much energy, so much yes. fun. Yes. Um, and she knew the references. She knew the jokes. She right, because I don't know. I mean, I know of Tamar Braxton, but like, I don't know. I've never watched that show. I don't no. know anything about it. And yet it was still fun. Get your life. <laughs> What's Tony really like? Girl, who cares? This is my first gig without Tony, and I am so excited. Boom! <laughs> but anyway, yeah, uh, Tamar Braxton, I thought she did a good job. Yeah. I thought she did a really good job. Um, you know, it wasn't the most funny, hilarious, amazing, but it was certainly. It wasn't cringy. No. It was fun. It was fun. She was certainly second place. Yes. Me, third, if. Lady Bunny, we got oh, right. to see if more of. Right, if we had seen more of Lady Bunny's <laughs> answers, perhaps third, but unfortunately we did not. What's the difference between a priest and acne? Acne doesn't come on your face until you're 13. <laughs> How do you make a gay man fuck a girl? Just shit in her cunt. <laughs> Everyone is shooketh because they all did terrible in Snatch Game except Jinx and Roxy. Um, and so everyone's feeling lots of feels. Yep, Coco defensive. is coming for Jinx. Jinx, she's all comedy and no glamour. I don't think from day one she's put anything on the runway worth looking at. And yeah. then Alyssa is coming for Coco. Yeah. Look how you look, girl. I'm not joking, bitch. bitch. This felt fake to me. Girl, look how orange you fucking look, girl. You were used to being with my runner up and being uh, behind me. Don't switch the game up now, mama. All of this is fake. Great. They're they, all of I mean, to a certain extent, but like the fact that they are having these knockdown, drag out fights and then they're like, hey, hey. cheers <laughs> later. I'm like, yeah. They're putting on a show. Yes, I love it. Okay, now, Miss Alyssa. Ooh. Now you pushed Let's, it. Miss Coco, you're taking it personal. I'm joking. Oh, now I'm not joking, bitch. Like, I love it. Iconic. Look how orange you look, girl. I'm eating it up like yep. Cheetos. Yeah. Yes. Um, you never won anything. <laughs> you ain't never won nothing. By Lisa. default, mama. You Lisa. took that picture by default. No, I took that picture because you couldn't do the job, bitch. I did love there was a moment where all of the queens just go, ooh, and it was like. They did the sound effect. Yeah, 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 yeah It yeah. was like, did, was that the sound effect or did they do it? Or did they use that then as the sound effect for ooh? Girl. Alyssa, are you glad you had immunity? Oh. Yes, this episode is full of iconic fights. Sure. The view that I had in the safe zone was not too cute. I don't understand where you're trying to like come for me. I mean, girl, you came for me right out there, threw me on the, the, under the fucking you're bus. You're still mad about that. Quick commercial break, and then we'll be back with the runway. Category is... We're not sure, and I don't think production is. <laughs> <laughs> Rue walks out on the runway in this purple and black fringed. fringed. I remember this vividly for reasons, and I remember always being annoyed that her headband was crooked. I didn't care for the wig so much, or something. This is iconic, though, in my mind. It, for for some reasons, reason, probably it's very Rue. This episode, you know? and it's like a little sea anemone or something. Mm. I don't know. Mm. I liked it. Yeah. The neon green was kind of out of nowhere, but I liked it. It was an, and it was a necklace. Yeah. Like, it, like she added that. Yeah. So, I don't know. But it's fine. Maybe neon green earrings. Ooh, yeah. And not the necklace. Not the necklace. Like fringy neon green earrings mm. could be fun. I don't know. Category is Deadliest Snatch. So, category is Deadliest Snatch. Or. Or. Fiercy fishness? What was it? Yeah. And then served it on the runway in fishy fierceness. Fish fishy fierceness. Fishy fierceness. Baby fish mouth. Baby fish mouth. Baby fish mouth. Baby fish mouth. 
Exorcist baby. Guy. Baby. baby. Yes, sir, that's my baby. No, sir, don't mean maybe. That's it. Time's up. Baby talk. Baby talk? What, what, what's that? That's not a saying. Oh, but baby fish mouth is sweeping the nation. <laughs> Clearly, the category that they told the queens yes. was fishy fierceness. Yes. Uh, and so some decided to go like full fish, fish, and some were just like, yes, I'm gonna look fierce and fishy. It was not clear. No. And so that annoys me. First out. I mean, winters. In this goldfish. Isn't, isn't that Latoya Jackson? What? That's why. That's why Rue says it like that. Now, Ivy, I've, I've got to confess. I want to tell you why I say Ivy. Winters. Thank God. Yes. <laughs> There's something, I think later in the season, maybe at the reunion or the finale, mm -hmm. she explains that something, I think it's LaToya, and she says something like that on stage. You did a pay-per-view concert called A Sizzling Spectacular. Do you remember that? Sort of, yeah. Well, I got to tell you, I became so obsessed with the way you introduced the musician Edgar Winters. Where she goes, here's my baby. Or something like that, and so she took that and... Interesting. Oh, because her drummer or one of her band members is like, something winters or something. Oh. That's, I just, that oh. just unearthed. Cool. Ladies and gentlemen, Edgar Winters! Well, but I, I gotta tell you, it was more like, Ivy Winters! <laughs> Well, I can't wait to the rediscover tectonic, that. The tectonic plates of my <laughs> memory banks and the bubbles came out. Great, great. But Ivy Winters walks yes. down the runway in this goldfish look. Yeah, this was I fun. remember this being fairly iconic in my mind. At the time, perhaps. Yeah. Although, sorry, that's so rude. I just feel like, you know, one Manila Luzon would have done it better. There was, like, looking at it now... I was like, oh, I would have picked a different fabric. Yep. Oh, I don't know if I would have had the eyeball exactly where you had it. Yep. Oh, I maybe would have made the fin uh, more uh, boned and, and really, like, yeah. really stick out. Yeah, somehow. like a long train of a fin or something. Something or anyway. So there was just like little things Ooh, yeah. that I would you imagine if you made like a really long train mm -hmm. but that was like a goldfish fin and it was like ribbed on the outside but like tool like on those, the inside. Like those fish with like the, the, the you know. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're along the back or whatever. Like lionfish. Yeah, 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 you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, that'd be cool. Maybe it's a headpiece, because, you know, I'm always here for it. Yeah. And the headpiece is like lionfish. Ooh, it's like a, dee 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 like a hole. And then it goes and all it's the like way a down. Train. It's and like it's a, a cape. It's like, it starts as a hood. Yeah. And it goes all the way down. And it's like And it's like a veil spiny. or whatever. Yeah. Yes. Love that. Love that. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, but this was very, I, this, I, this was nice. This was nice. I liked it, it a lot. It I didn't cute. like the fabric on the bottom worse than the regular but it's a, But it's a fun idea. Yeah. And um, and she made it herself. Yeah. Yes, so. she did. And don't flush goldfish. There are huge freaking goldfish in Lake Tahoe. You didn't know that? Because they survived? Yeah. People are flushing. Well, not when they're dead. People are flushing alive goldfish Apparently. down toilets? I don't know. But they're, that's they're what they say? On, they're not on septic? I, I have no idea. All I know is that apparently that's a thing and that there are like 200 pound goldfish in Lake Tahoe. Love it. Well, no, they're really bad for the environment oh, and no. the ecosystem. Oh, no. It's so Because they don't belong there. Well, like, right, but like, and you can't even eat them because they're like not toxic good Avenger. for- Toxic Avenger. This is some yeah, like yeah. serious swamp thing yeah. shit. Anyway, next out, detox in this uh, jellyfish loofah look. Um, pom pom, pom pom, Angelica Houston. Yeah, like, always. I liked this. I didn't love it. Yeah, me too. I thought her other poofy blue. Yeah, was better. Was a better. The material was better. Yeah. The, the wig all went with it better. Yeah, I disagree with Michelle. Michelle really was trying to come in on this one, and I was like, no, it, it's fun. It, it, yeah. She looks fine. Like Michelle was trying to read her. Michelle seems to have something against jellyfish. I don't know. I was surprised. It was so bizarre. You're better than that. The first thing I thought of when I heard fishy fierceness was a jellyfish. Really? That's the first thing you thought of? You're fiercer than that. Next out was Jay Jolie in a bunch of crapped up black silvery chained I didn't um, get this at all the white lipstick she looked frostbitten this was also or like she just had a donut you know oh like, sure Ooh, little yeah. powdery little Entman's what's that the brand of like those little oh, the, the yeah. donut holes or whatever I don't think I've whatever. ever heard it said out loud I've only read it there you go 
So yeah, learned something new today. <laughs> I, I didn't get this pretty much at all. Well, especially because it was like fish look, fish look, black chains and what? <laughs> huh? <laughs> She looked like an extra from Streets of Fire. It was, um... Yeah. yeah. I don't know what this was. Unfortunately for her, it was especially bad because I was just like, huh? deadly snatch. <laughs> what? <laughs> so I'm sure if I re-looked at it, it'd be like, oh, okay. But it wasn't anything breathtaking in my no. recollection. No, no. Right. And then next up is Roxy Andrews. And they kept saying Liza with a Z, and I just don't understand it. Roxy nailed that modern take on Liza with a Z. So it's summer stock. I don't know. Right, like, like I'm not sure. And it oh. was like denim. Right. I actually really like this I look. liked it. It was cute. This is one of my favorites. Oh, and sparkles. It was like uh, rhinestones bedazzled, or something. Bedazzled. Yeah. Her bedazzled muffin. Yeah. I love a bedazzled muffin. This is one of my favorite Roxy looks. I, I think thought so, because it it's not as crept up. More interesting. I thought I liked the wig, this huge... Fucking yeah. mo faux hawk, like yeah. punk, you know, pseudo punk rock. I think you it know. was the same wig that she wore a few episodes ago. But that totally I, re restyled, remastered. Different, yeah, different. Know? Yeah, exactly. No, I really like this. I thought it was clean. I thought yeah. her body was on point. Yeah. Um, the makeup her body's was always good. on point. Oh, of course. I just thought I should point oh. it out. Like, oh, no, of course. <laughs> it was on point. Of course. Of course. Oh, boy. The next out is Jinx Monsoon in this belted caftan Pandora box. It was crapped up, you know, feathered jewels. It was very boho. It was you very know. boho. There was something Sarah Jessica Parker about it for me. I don't know why, but it yeah. was. Yeah, her makeup needed some cooking. It wasn't great. This week in particular. No, the, the wig was a little small. I, yeah. It was not a big blonde wig. I, I, I agree with Michelle on that I one. think we have a different aesthetic. <laughs> I do think we have a slightly different aesthetic. But there's no denying she looked cute. Yes. And she, you know, won the snatch. I mean, there was, oh, there was no, this like, was her episode. She could have worn the worst look we've ever seen. And Dry she fit? still would have, oh my God, she still would have won this episode. Sure. Is that the worst we've ever seen? No, That's I think the laziest. Yeah, yeah maybe. But is it the worst? I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> just the fact that you could see it on the shorts. With like the belt that was just on top of the elastic <laughs> waistband. Oh, Cynthia. Uh, Next up, Coco Montrese as Nicki Minaj. Um, but she nailed it. I thought this was a fabulous look. Like, mm -hmm. she looks fierce as fuck. Um, yeah, the two-toned wig, yep. the bangs, and yeah. the pink cheetah catsuit. A, a, a giraffe or whatever, yeah. Oh, wait, She's a, maybe? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. That's a giraffe. <laughs> cows ain't spotted like that. That's a giraffe. I saw it and I was like, oh, brown cow. Stunning. <laughs> animal print. Animal print. The pink animal print. The thing that I don't love about this is that it really just, I think, is exactly ripped off from Nikki. Sure. So it's like... But she didn't even really have the shape. Not even, like, like not the she huge... Had a, she had a lovely shape. A lovely shape, but, but she it wasn't like... It wasn't that exaggerated you know, I got a big, fat ass, big dicks follow. No, it was not that. <laughs> You're missing that. So, you know, um, it was clean and polished and a good look. Yeah. But it wasn't like, ooh. No, if this was Night of a Thousand Nikki's, which they should absolutely do, then I would be like, yes, bitch. Next out, Alyssa Edwards in this magenta y, purpley gown, two yeah. stripey, two toned y. Maybe her best look so far? I think it's the least crapped up. Sure. It's still. Like, I don't know what you're going for. Absolutely not. At all? Yeah. She's and got it. This was another one where I was like, how does this fit Deadly as Snatch or whatever? But <laughs> What's <you know>. going on? <laughs> yeah. She's got a little tiny fascinator in her hair. I mean, I was into that. Them shoulders did not match them hips. Her hair, <laughs> her head looked tiny because the wig was flat. Yeah. I'm being rude, but like it was probably her best look <laughs> so far. She needs, she, she looks so good with big hair. Yes, it's you know? true. And this she was, needs big hair. This is human. That cheap wig you got on, this is human, mama. Mama. This yeah. is $450. That is 35 That wig was a bad investment. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I would have preferred a lace front, but sometimes a shake and go can get the job done. But next out, Lanesha Sparks in the second of our black, not quite crapped up, Streets of Fire looks. Sure. Very, if Prince and Vanity had a baby, and they dressed her half and half, you know. Well, because there was Prince like the got one, one leg, half and yeah. Vanity got the other half, you know, and they, they couldn't decide, so they dressed her up. She looked beautiful. <laughs> she did. The wig was great. Yeah. She always looks polished. It was fierce. I liked it. Yeah. So fiercey fishness, good for her. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> 
Fishy she fierceness? I don't know. Whatever. What's the difference? What's the difference? So then next up, Alaska with this stupid bass. I wish that it was one of the... <laughs> the trout, right? Oh, trout. She exactly. said, my great-grandfather caught, caught this, this trout. trout. Yeah. La, he la, would la, be la, la, la. horrified and impressed. <laughs> Grandpa would be so proud and completely horrified. I kind of wish it was the stupid talking, singing, singing bass. bass. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, that'd be more dumb. She really um, interacted with her prop well. She did. She doesn't like the mermaid skirt. You know, yeah. That's yeah, 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 yeah. So she can have a wiggle with her tiny little ass. She's the tiniest ass I've ever seen. <laughs> She's got the tiniest butt yeah. I've ever seen. So everyone is out there. She's calling the safe girls up. And Alyssa had immunity, so right. she's lucky she's safe. And RuPaul says she has to. I want you to tweet an apology to her tonight. Hashtag RuPaulogy. I died. Please bring this back. Oh my also, God. Also, why was Detox not required to tweet an apology to Kesha? Yeah, this is absurd. I want to know, did she actually tweet it? And is the tweet still up? Probably. Let's look. I would love to. Um, but I loved this, and I think they should play more with... With that, like... Social media and... Sure. Well, right? I mean, hashtags, too, are gone, but... I yeah. know. Bring back the hashtags. Oh, I love it. And Hashtag them shoulders to match them, them hips. hips. What? But... Yes. Jinx wins. Duh. Obviously. And Lanesha and Detox are in the bottom. Yeah. Ah! Oh, no. And they have to lip sync to Take Me Home by Cher. Um, I mean, this, this was, was a lob, right? A they were like, lob. and Detox. Yeah. yeah. But oh, it was I thought great. Lanesha did, it's a great lip sync. And they both did really, really well. Yeah. Um, Detox is, to show you off know, her, her signature. Ooh. What the fuck? <laughs> But it wasn't just a gimmick. No, it was perfectly she um, used, utilized suited with it, Cher, too. Right, but she utilized it in key moments and then yeah. at other times did also regular, fun, fabulous, yeah. I'm, yes. you know, embodying, serving, and, dancing serving and, whatever. and all that. Yeah. And Lanesha was electric and yes. really you were drawn to her as well. Yeah. But it was just, it was detox. Like, I don't know, like they both did a but great But it was really job. a pretty close lip sync I for think me. They could have saved them both because they had just yes, gotten, gotten rid of two. elimination. And I do think Lanesha had more to show and was really, really talented and, you know, kind of is she was never gonna be good at this challenge. Like no. it just is wasn't was, gonna happen. Right. And it's like maybe we just let you and then it is an interesting point that she said it's like it's hard to particularly improv in a foreign second language that you're not like oh that's, my God. How, it's really difficult. Yeah. I did love when Detox just started spinning and then her ass was just out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. The, the, the tutu dress, whatever, just floats out. It was great. I really enjoyed it. Was really good. I enjoyed that. That's a good gift. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is the episode where we get Jinx's uh, water off ducks back. Yes. She was saying it earlier and then during the critiques and Michelle's, you're not glamour. You'll never be glamour. <laughs> um... <laughs> Are we ever going to get glamour out of you? Right. Jinxie, I am starting to give up here. It's rather pedestrian. I'm not getting glamour. So, quick commercial break, and we're back with Untucked. <laughs> so, the episode starts, and... Um, it's revealed that it's Fishy Fierceness. It's revealed that, it, in fact, it was Fishy Fierceness, whatever. And, um... The producers cleverly got Melissa, Jade, and Coco, Coco in a room together. Yep. All right. Oh, I see where this is going. Jade and Coco essentially just ignore Well, Coco, Alyssa. Coco doesn't want to sit next to Alyssa. Right. Oh, yeah. She's like, no, you sit there. I'll sit over here. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Ah. And this fight that just spiraled and spiraled and spiraled. How do you feel being that, you know, you're just safe with Janet, something you do six nights a week? Everyone's wrong and everyone's right. Right. And Alyssa's never going to tell Coco what she wants to hear, and Coco's never, never going to tell, tell Alyssa what she wants to hear. And this could go on for years. Girl, I could judge you on your lack of talent. You're a phony amateur. To you, girl. because you're a mean phony girl. Amateur. You're a mean girl. Girl, you're a joke. Throughout the fight, I agree with everyone at some sure. point, yes. and I completely disagree with everyone at some point. Yes. And I was just like, that's, you know what? That's a good fight. Yeah. Well, and I love that. This is what I hate about queens. 
girls can dish, but they can't take. I hadn't said nothing. I feel like Alyssa is a person that can dish it, but she can never take it. She can dish it, but she can't take it. Everyone you, says that about everybody. Everyone. You know what I hate about drag queens? They can dish it, but they can't take it. I can take it and dish it. And I'm like, can you? You know who can? Who? Jade. Yes. I really I appreciate that Jade is like, I'm the sweetest bitch you'll meet, but if you come for me, then you'll see a whole new side that you wouldn't have ever imagined. Are you coming for me? I'll come for I'll you. I'll come for you. Don't you do I didn't start it. I will come yeah. back for you. Yes. Girl, if I was I gonna judge, judge anyone, I judge you on that body where their shoulders should match them hips, you, but you they don't, all so. She was like, I wouldn't have told you to your face unless you started it. Right. I wasn't going to come up to you and tell you it had back rolls, <laughs> but then you had to come for me. So I'm telling you right now, those shoulders should match the hips, but they, but they don't. don't. <laughs> Get her, Jay. I do think it's interesting in this episode, you really see a lot of Alyssa's, uh, I mean, she's confident and she should be, but I feel like it was a little overconfidence or it was a little um, well, judgmental. I, you know, I like, think she's playing... I think she's competitive as fuck. Yes. Who started in on me completely? Okay, then I was just playing with oh, you. Oh, okay. And I think she's playing that. You've never seen Pumping Iron, right? The no. Arnold, you know, documentary. Oh, no. So he's playing both games. Mm. He's playing the yes, I am very muscly game, but he's also playing the I'm going to psych you the fuck out, right. Lou yeah. Ferrigno, and you were going to win. And I got so inside your head that you fucked up and mm. I won the whole thing. Sure. And you watch it happen and you're like, this is diabolical. <laughs> but like also, I'm scared, but I mean like, but yes, let me take notes. Like what's going on? It's Very crazy. Machiavellian. Machiavellian. It's crazy when you watch it. You're just like, oh my God. And Lou Ferrigno doesn't even know what happened. Huh. Like yeah. he's not like, you psyched me out. He's right. like, I don't even know. I just really lost my confidence. And uh, I don't know. I kind of lost focus there. And you're like, it was him. He did it all along. He's behind. He's, behind. He's reaping all the benefits. Like it's like He's losing his mind, and I'm reaping all the benefits. So I feel like maybe not to that degree, but Alyssa's very competitive. Sure. And so you know, like when she came after Coco in the workroom, I right. think she was absolutely coming yeah, for, for her, her confidence. Yes. You know. But also, I think what we've seen is. Probably subconsciously she's doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because she's when she's defensive, she gets very aggressive and like she said, or deflects, or or, or below the belt, changes the subject below well, the belt. Yeah, deflects. it's like oh, if someone comes for her, she's gonna get really like. Played. I was just joking. Right, right, right. But also, I was just joking in like the worst cuntiest way possible. Right, right. Then I was joking. Now I'm not. No. I am not joking, bitch. I'm not joking, bitch. Well, because, you know, Alyssa just straight up tells Jade, girl, you're okay. a joke. That's and what Jade is like, okay. Yeah. You have opened the floodgates. Yep. <laughs> and now it is time for me to get you. Back rolls. Get her, Jade. Get her, Jade. Also iconic. Yes. Yes. Girl, you had rolls all over the place in the back. It was disgusting. Back rolls. She felt attacked or defensive. Right. And she was like, I'm going to come in with the nasty hot. insults. I'm coming yeah. in hot. Yeah, yeah. It's like, maybe you went a little too far, Alyssa. You are talentless and a joke. <laughs> wow. Wow. The fight continues. Uh, Peekaroo going to the, <laughs> to the gold bar. They just keep going. In your big pink furry box. <laughs> Girl, the conversation's over, mama. At the end of the day, the book does this. I wish they had just kept, kept going, going, but eventually they do make it to... Unfortunately, she had to catch her she plane. She had to catch a plane and go. Those are fake lemons. Sadly, Dita had to catch a flight. But eventually, yes, they do make it to the pink furry box. Yes. And um, they're supposed to do impressions of other queens yeah. and... Alyssa's doing, I mean, this was very, oh, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like so excited about like her own joke. Yeah. And everyone else is like, I don't feel like that. I brung just one thing to this show. What's the biggest <laughs> you've ever done? <laughs> Jeez. Um, sure. I mean, they were definitely not giving her they were anything. They not engaging. But she wasn't doing a good impersonation either. No. I no. forget who it was. She was doing Jinx. Oh, right. Jinx. Yeah. 
Um, I do miss the untucked exclusives where they would show yes. the receipts. Yes. I really do miss it. Um, show me the receipts, Diane. Because the top and bottom queens come back and Detox is, you know, um, feeling a certain way. Yep. And she's kind of pissed because um, she's talking to Lanesha and she's saying, well, earlier, right. didn't you say you didn't even really want to be here anymore? And Lanesha is like quiet and then she's like, no. No. <laughs> no. You said yesterday, you're like, I'm ready to go. I will miss somebody. So like yes, I'm missing that person. Do you miss them enough to go home? Yes. 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 And then the untucked exclusive. And it's, I mean, it was her saying that, like, you know, I'm she having had a, she moments had a, of doubt. A man I... friend back home and that she really missed him. And they're like, well, would you want to leave? You want to leave to go be with them? And she's like, Kind of. Yeah. It wasn't like, I'm ready to quit. I don't like this anymore. Right. It was but... like, no, I, I, I miss that D. <laughs> I think a little bit of it was just like the language barrier, whatever, sure, that sure. it wasn't quite the same jokey. Like I could see her intent and the way that they twisted her words right, to try right. to make it seem like she didn't even want to be there. Right, right, right. And right, she right. says, well, I want to be here now. And I was like, good for you, Lanesha. I really like Lanesha. Detox, more like Botox. Oh my God. Detox or Botox? I really don't understand. She's a piece of silicone with legs and eyes, so. She's just silicone with hips, with legs and, uh, and eyes. And like, eyes. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good read. So, yes, then they all get together. The fighting continues. Right. Um, you know, Coco makes sure that she hasn't had a conflict with... Oh, have I had a conflict with you? Have I had a conflict with you in this conversation? No. Have I had a conflict with you? Oh, I hate your guts. Yeah, have I had a conflict no, with you? Do really? I have a conflict with you? No. Have I had a conflict with no. you? Have I had a conflict with you? Mm -hmm. Have I had a conflict with you? Have I had a conflict with you? With you? Uh, I hate your guts. <laughs> with you? I do love... Alaska does sort of stay above the drama. Like, yeah. She doesn't... At least not yet. She doesn't, like... And Jinx, for the most part, I mean, she kind of gets entangled because people see her as weak right. in that way and right. so they bully her but they both sort of stay out of the drama for yeah. the most part yeah. or if they can help it. Yeah. 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 What's happening in the gold bar? Can I go to the gold bar please? So I mean a fun episode. Yes. Pretty bad snatch game but also iconic because of Jinx. It's both, it's both. both things. Yes. Um, and plenty of iconic uh, playable moments. Oh my god. So yeah very fun to revisit. Yeah. Cheers. We'll see you next Thursday.